Here's what we're talking about this morning, this morning, is um, when you look at things like uh, technology, technology like, let's say even just like cell phones, the ability was already there. These frequencies were already here around the earth. It took humans digging down into the earth pulling out metals and configuring them in a certain way and adding a little bit of a charge to it to be able to harness these frequencies that go through like the telephone line and be able to connect people so that we could talk to each other like we do right now and over time we started to just develop into like these creatures that believed that it was the technology that was connecting us but no that connection was already there it just because we don't believe, we humans, we don't believe in frequencies and we don't believe in the things that we can't see. But there's like radio waves going all through this room right now. There's a Wi-Fi signal with crashing its Wi-Fi waves all over the place. I can't see it, but it's there. And we know that it's there because of the machine over in the corner and the lights are blinking. So I know that it's on. I know that it's working. And I'm watching shows on the internet right now. So I know that that's working. But as a human, before we didn't believe that we could just like you know, communicate across these vast distances the way that we do until it, a device was created to, you know, to make us believe, you know, once the device was made, everybody watched it and saw the device happen and then it worked and then they were like, oh shit, like I want one of those. So, but you know, and that's like the telephone and later into like the cell phone technology. So these waves are already there. It's just a matter of finding ways to tap into them to be able to harness that power. What other waves are out there in the potential wave frequencies that we haven't yet tapped into and brought into manifestation on the earth? Maybe we need to dig down into the dirt again, pull up some more metal and configure it a little bit differently this time to be able to tap into some different kind of frequencies. And I guess this just goes to show that someday in the future, we might all be able to like, take these phones and just like throw them away. We're not going to need phones anymore. We're going to need an external device because we're going to have it inside of us. We are going to be those machines. Um, picture yourself 90 years old on your deathbed and someone comes to you with a syringe and says, oh, I'm just going to inject these nanobots and they're going to reverse your life. You're going to be 20 years old again and your skin's going to be nice again. You're not going to have any more wrinkles in your gray hair. It's going to fix all that. It's going to clean your blood. It's going to take all the cholesterol out of your heart. It's going to fix your kidneys. It's going to take clean up the liver. It's going to just re re replenish your entire body back to like being like a 20 year old again. And I think a lot of people are going to take that shot. You know, they're going to, even though it's experimental at the time, they're going to take that and just be like, yeah, hook me up. Like, here I am dying. You're going to put me back to 20 years old. Sure. But at the same time, we're going to be infused with technology. And that technology is going to be able to grab those frequencies, and even the unknown frequencies that we can't even fathom right now. That technology in the future is going to be able to grab those frequencies and be able to connect us. So then I'm not going to need a device to talk to you anymore. I'm not going to need a camera and a film. I'm going to be able to just be at one with you and you at one with me. The weird thing is, is that there's not going to be any more secrets. There's not going to be more privacy. I'm not going to have private thoughts of my own that you're not going to already know and that I'm not going to already know your private thoughts. So that's kind of a weird thing that we'll have to get over as a human race. But the cool thing is, is that all humans, all connected as one living entity moving amongst the earth um, will be able to accomplish so much more. It's kind of like, what are we here for? Like we will all finally clue in and understand what we're here on this earth to do as one living entity, one creature that's able to just harness the power of everyone. The downside, and I'm saying that as me now, the downside is that you're going to lose things like a little bit of love feeling, you'll lose empathy, you'll lose compassion, because just like with the hydra, you cut off one head of the hydra, the hydra doesn't care that you just cut off one of its head because two more heads are going to grow back. And the same with us people who will now all be controlled as if we were just one living organism, you know, if one or two of us die for whatever reason, for let's maybe say that our purpose is to, some of us are going to have to mine 
uh, more metals out of the earth to create more nanobots for the new children that are being born. Um, so someone's gonna have to mine those, but we won't care because we will just be one thing. And it's like, you know, if you have 8 billion fingers and you lose one finger for the greater good of what you're here to do, do you really care if you lose one finger? It's not gonna really bother you that much. And it's gonna be the same thing just in separate people. So we'll be still separate individual entities as in the sense that um, if the Hydra was a billion Hydras, and each was just one little head of the Hydra walking around. And you, and it didn't really care if one of them got killed because it is still here and it is still controlling all of them. And it's not like I'm going to be the controller or you're going to be the controller. We are all going to mind meld into this one entity, into this one consciousness who is then able to control all moving parts of the entire system. And think of the great things we'll be able to accomplish. We'll be able to move mountains in that sense. We'll be able to just transfer our entire bodies. We'll be able to build the greatest machines to travel to all these different planets and explore the galaxies. That's what I've been thinking about this morning.